how long does Putin think he can keep doing it? And we just don't know. The problem is when you have someone who's been in power for 22 years, you know, he gets, he surrounds himself with yes men. In particular, uh, he surrounded himself with Defense Minister Shoigu, uh, who's been in the office of Defense Minister since 2012. Well, basically, this guy got along by being a courtier to uh, Vladimir Putin. That is, he told Vladimir Putin what he wanted to hear while he was busy stealing everything else blind and negotiating amongst all the oligarchs in power as to who got what cut from the, the corruption that is in the Russian state and the Russian defense ministry. The answer for how long this will go on boils down to how much reality will get to Vladimir Putin before his army falls apart. And that's yes. one of those future, future hazy asking and later kind of questions. Everyone expected that Vladimir Putin would announce a greater mobilization to get more bodies to keep fighting, to get more economic uh, uh, percentage of, of the, the Russian economy into doing military goods to fight the war. He didn't do that. What that does is it puts the Russian army on a clock. It's not getting replacement equipment and people fast enough to replace what the Ukrainians are killing. So I don't know when the Russian army will fall apart, but if we're doing a straight line estimate, I don't see how this can go past June. 